I'm David Tillman, author of NootropicsExpert.com, and this video is an advanced guide to choline in nootropic stacks. We'll cover stacking racetams with choline, who needs choline, the four most popular choline supplements, and the benefits of each. Choline is often the center of a great nootropic stack because without adequate levels of choline in your brain, the rest of your stack is likely unlikely to work very well. Choline is neither a vitamin nor a mineral, but it is a water-soluble nutrient related to the B vitamin group. Choline was recognized as an essential nutrient by the U.S. Institute of Medicine in 1998. Essential because your body cannot make enough choline on its own. You need to get it from food or a supplement. Choline is found naturally in eggs, liver, beef, salmon, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, and breast milk, and eggs are often considered brain food because they supply high amounts of choline. Choline is needed by your body for liver function, normal brain function and development, nerve function, muscle movement, cellular energy, and metabolism. Choline assists in the methylation involved in gene expression and the repair of DNA, nerve signaling, and detoxification. Your brain has a huge appetite for choline. It is critical for the synthesis of the key neurotransmitter acetylcholine, which your brain uses to maintain clear communications between billions of neurons. In fact, choline is so vital to cognition and nerve function that without it, we couldn't move, think, sleep, or remember anything. Choline and acetylcholine are needed for the basics of attention, focus, memory, mood, thinking, and sleep. Not enough choline and you deal with poor memory recall, memory loss, fatigue, brain fog, inability to learn, feeling irritable or distracted, and difficulty walking or staying balanced. If you use any of the racetam family of nootropics in your stack, you likely should add a choline supplement because the racetams all affect choline or acetylcholine use in your brain in some way. Anaracetam releases more acetylcholine. Coloracetam increases choline to acetylcholine conversion through the high affinity choline uptake process. Nupept modulates acetylcholine transmission. Oxiracetam enhances choline acetyltransferase, which is used to synthesize acetylcholine. Paracetam potentiates the flow and increases the effect of acetylcholine. Phenylparacetam increases the density of acetylcholine receptors. Paramaracetam increases the choline to acetylcholine conversion through the high affinity choline uptake process. Nefiracetam potentiates nicotinic acetylcholine receptors. Now I do dive into more detail on how each of the racetams affect acetylcholine in your brain in another post that I have in Nootropics Expert on acetylcholine. But for now you should know that when a racetam affects acetylcholine in some way it usually means that you need to make sure that more acetylcholine is available or the racetam will not be as effective. The other primary issue facing neurohackers are racetam headaches. These headaches are unique because they usually only happen in a part of your brain. You'll get to recognize them for what they are with more experience with racetams. Racetam headaches are caused by using a racetam without enough supplemental choline. Your brain is telling you that it's starved for choline. Even if you're not interested in nootropics or brain optimization, anyone over 45 years can benefit from a good choline supplement. You'll experience more alertness, energy, focus, and recall, and better memory. We all need choline for clarity and uh, mental energy. And we have several nootropic supplements to choose from to boost choline in your brain and to increase the synthesis of acetylcholine. So we'll review the best nootropics for boosting choline in your brain next. Alpha-GPC is a choline source derived from soy or sunflower lecithin and is a highly bioavailable form of choline that quickly enters your brain. As a nootropic supplement, alpha-GPC is about 40% choline by weight. Alpha-GPC naturally occurs in your brain as a byproduct of phosphatidylcholine or PC. When your brain needs more choline, 
and choline floating around in your brain is running low, it breaks down phosphatidylcholine from cell membranes and it turns it into alpha-GPC. The combination of the omega-3 fatty acid DHA, alpha-GPC, and phosphatidylserine, or PS, is used for brain cell membranes. And like other choline supplements, alpha-GPC provides choline needed to synthesize acetylcholine. But alpha-GPC is unique from other forms of choline. It helps increase human growth hormone. It restores and boosts nerve growth factor receptors in your brain, and it stimulates the re release of dopamine. One study in particular demonstrated why alpha-GPC is a favorite among neurohackers. 32 healthy volunteers received either alpha-GPC or a placebo. Ten days later, they were injected with scopolamine to induce amnesia. The researchers found alpha-GPC was able to prevent the impairment of attention and memory normally caused by scopolamine. The researchers showed that memory function in healthy young people could be boosted simply by taking alpha-GPC as a nootropic supplement. Choline bitartrate is a choline combined with tartaric acid to increase bioavailability. One of the least expensive forms of choline is about 40% choline by weight. Like other choline supplements, choline bitratrate provides the choline needed for acetylcholine synthesis. But neurohackers have found this form is not nearly as effective as other forms of choline. However, if choline bitratrate is the only choline supplement you have available, we do have science to prove that it works as a nootropic. A research team in the Netherlands gave 28 volunteers 2 grams of choline bitratrate or a placebo. An hour and 10 minutes after taking the supplements, they had participants attempt to hit the center of a target. The volunteers who used the choline supplement were not only more accurate at hitting the target center than the placebo group, they were also did it faster. The researchers concluded that there was a choline-induced bias towards precision, speed, and accuracy. Now, logic tells us that you would have this positive outcome with any choline supplement. So, if all you have to take is choline bitratrate, you'll be fine. Choline citrate is choline combined with citrate, which is an ester of citric acid. Citrate is involved in the transport mechanism of acetyl units from its site of synthesis in mitochondria to the site of acetylcholine synthesis. And citrate plays another important role in the, in the brain. Citrate is an intermediate in the Krebs cycle. Citrate synthase catalyzes the condensation of oxaloacetate with acetyl-CoA to form citrate. Citrate then acts as the substrate of aconitase and is converted to acotinic acid. This cycle ends with the regeneration of axyl acetate. This series of chemical reactions is a source of two-thirds of the energy we get from food. Most of the energy made available by these steps is transferred to form NADH, which then drives adenosine triphosphate or ATP synthesis that fuels mitochondria and provides the energy needed for brain cells. One of the less expensive versions of choline, choline citrate, is about 50% choline by weight. And like other sources of choline, provides the raw material needed to synthesize acetylcholine. Acetylcholine is a neurotransmitter needed to signal muscle movement. But choline citrate is unique because it helps prevent fatigue, muscle aches, and pain following a workout. Now, I have got per personal experience with the benefits of choline citrate for years. I saw a rheumatologist who injected cortisone into my shoulder muscles to relieve excruciating pain. Once I began supplementing with 3 to 4 grams of choline citrate per day, the severe muscle pain in my shoulders was gone. So choline citrate provides the double benefit of improving concentration, energy levels, focus, and memory, along with less muscle pain and faster recovery after a workout. CDP choline is also known as citicholine. This naturally occurring choline source is present in every cell in your body. The CDP choline supplement is unique as a choline source. Once it's digested, it separates into citidine and choline. When it gets to your brain, it converts back to CDP choline. Now, choline is needed for the synthesis of acetylcholine. 
and cytidine is a component of ribonucleic acid, or RNA. This molecule is involved in coding, decoding, regulation, and the expression of genes, and once it gets into the brain, it converts into uridine. When choline is in short supply, Neuronal signaling resorts to grabbing choline molecules from phosphatidylcholine in cell membranes. This is where uridine steps in. Uridine is used to synthesize phosphatidylcholine. Supplemental CDP choline provides the uridine needed for this synthesis, which means that CDP choline helps repair those same brain cells to maintain neuron integrity. CDP choline is only about 18% choline by weight, but it packs a punch when it comes to brain optimization and is a favorite nootropic stack addition with many experienced neurohackers. When it comes to choosing between CDP choline and alpha GPC for your nootropic stack, there's really no contest. These two choline supplements work well together. The synthesis of acetylcholine is largely dependent on the choline provided by phosphatidylcholine. Alpha-GPC is a byproduct of phosphatidylcholine, and, a, and supplemental CDP choline provides the uridine needed for PC synthesis. So taken together, you provide your brain with the type of choline it needs right down at the cellular level. Combining CDP choline Together with alpha-GPC is a winning combination for any nootropic stack. Choline is considered safe and non-toxic. Small amounts are made in your body and it is an essential nutrient, but too much choline, like all nutrients and supplements, can become toxic if too much is taken and your body does not need supplemental choline. Now my wife is a classic example. This stunningly beautiful, charming, intelligent woman turns into the Wicked Witch from the West if she takes a choline supplement. Like any nootropic used for brain optimization, neurotransmitter balance is key. Excess acetylcholine will suppress or depress levels of dopamine, norepinephrine, and serotonin. Serotonin and acetylcholine have an inverse relationship in your brain. In other words, when one goes down, the other goes up. So taking too much of a choline supplement can boost acetylcholine too much and force serotonin levels to drop. Symptoms of too much choline or acetylcholine can include irritability or anger, anxiety and or depression, fatigue or feeling oversleepy, trouble concentrating, brain fog and a lack of focus, mental confusion or fatigue, decreased motivation, negativity, pessimism, rumination, poor memory, problems understanding or performing tasks, feelings of helplessness or hopelessness, diarrhea, constipation, gas, bloating, nausea, vomiting, and dizziness, muscle weakness, tingling or numbness in your arms and legs, and joint pain or discomfort and, or, discomfort or swelling. Now, every one of us needs choline to function. Choline is an essential nootropic supplement for anyone whose goal is brain optimization. Choline is needed to synthesize acetylcholine, and we need choline for cell membrane signaling, uh, lipid transport, and methyl group metabolism. We need choline to provide the acetylcholine affected by any of the racetam family of nootropics. Your brain will start to literally consume itself to get the building blocks it needs to make acetylcholine if you don't provide it with enough choline. Now my favorite choline supplements after years of trial and error are CDP choline and alpha GPC. If I've got muscle pain, I'll take choline citrate for a few days until the pain goes away. I use 500 milligrams of cognosine, which is a branded form of citocholine or CDP choline, per day in my nootropic stack. Cognosine is included in the double dose of MindLab Pro I use every day. Now, whenever I feel a racetam headache coming on, I'll take 500 milligrams of alpha GPC, and the headache is gone within 15 minutes. Now, your mileage may vary. Each of us has a unique body and brain, so what works for me may not work as well for you. Listen to your body and give your brain the choline that it needs. 
And that's my report on the best forms of choline. If you want to see links to the choline nootropics I talked about, go to nootropicsexpert.com and search for Advanced Guide to Choline in Nootropic Stacks or click on the link below this video. There you'll find a full transcript of this video and you'll find dozens of articles in all the well-known nootropics on Nootropics Expert. Now, if you have any questions or you want to share your experience using choline supplements, use the comments section at the bottom of the post over on Nootropics Expert. I respond to comments and questions at Nootropics Expert usually the same day. And if you haven't already, download your free copy of Secrets of the Optimized Brain. Get a copy of my book head first. And if you think you could use help, book a personal consultation with me. Now, if you want to see more videos and all the best nootropics used today, subscribe to this channel before you leave. I'll be putting up new videos in nootropics and optimizing your brain every week. I'm David Toman, author of Nootropics Expert.